YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's Atticus here from Red Face Gaming. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys had an awesome Halloween, dude. My Halloween was awesome. I had fun with my family, all the trick-or-treaters. I thought it was going to be a dead Halloween year, but it wasn't. It was awesome, guys, and I hope yours was, too. So, kicking off after this weekend, guys. Hollow's End went bye-bye. And, uh... Now it's the WoW 16th anniversary event going on right now. And if you log into your account, you'll notice you'll get some mail, right? And so basically what this guide is, is this is going to be a 50% experience boost to help you level your alts or level your next main or, you know, maybe with the pre-patch, you notice like Shadow Priest, like I made an elemental shaman because I see how strong they are and they look really fun. Uh, but you see people making Shadow Priest. Ellie Shamans, Balanced Druids, like everybody's leveling alts or they're leveling up their next main because it looks more fun in the pre-patch going into Shadowlands. And so this is kind of a guide to help you power level that person without really having to pay for a boost and uh, to do it within literally less than a day. Um, my guy is almost level 40 and um, I think I have like maybe 5 hours, 5-6 five, hours into him. And uh, that's before, and not even all that time is accounting for me actually using the experience boost because when I was playing them, I didn't realize I had to log out and log back in to get the uh, the WoW anniversary token for the experience boost. So, uh, so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. Come on. Alright guys, so, the way this works is you have the Dark Moon Fair going up, right? You have WoW 16th Anniversary going up, and uh, so another component you're going to need for this boost is you're going to need full heirlooms, that's going to be a plus side, and also you're going to need to be, I think, at least honored or revered, maybe exalted, I don't remember, it's been a while, with uh, the Honor Bound Faction, if you're on Horde, or the 7th Legion if you're on the Alliance, uh, because you are going to need... I already spent all mine. Uh, well, I can't show you on this guy. But you, you're going to need these guys right here. It's called the Drought of Ten Lands. It's bound by account. Um, basically, you need to go to your 7th Legion or the Honor Bound. And you use uh, these... Uh, I forget what they're called. It's something. They're tokens that you use to buy stuff through that faction. And uh, so if you're on Horde, it's the Honor Bound. You should be familiar with it already if you play throughout BFA. Uh, just go there and get yourself as many as you can for as many alts as you want. Um, so far, I have given this, I gave 15 to this tune. And so far, no, 13. My apologies. I gave 13 to this tune. And um, so I have already have five, about five hours of gameplay in. And I'm already level 38. Uh, on the side note, I also used a an allied race to start off at level 10 to help jump what was going on, right? Um, and also, you can al you can also take advantage of this while you're doing the intro. So that's another thing we're going to get into right now. So your main components are the Drought of 10 lands for the 10% EXP boost. You get a 16% experience boost through the WoW 16th anniversary. Right? That's 26 right there. And then you have to have war mode on, guys. This is going to be a questing, you know, outside leveling experience. You need war mode on. And I'm going to go over that with you guys again. You are going to be in chromy time. So war mode is less punishable, all right? So you, once you hit level 10, you know, this goes by so much faster if you're using an allied character. Um, mine's an elemental Zandalari shaman. Uh, you start off at level 10. just makes life easier, right? So, from here, you have the Drought of Tent Lands, your WoW XP boost, uh, full heirlooms, and then um, War Mode on for that extra 10% boost. So now that's 36%, right? And then, so the last trick here, guys, is the Dark Moon Fair, literally stacked at the best time ever with the WoW 16th anniversary. 
And so if you go to the Dark Moon Fair and you get your you get you guys sell some tickets like right here I'm at the carousel in Dark Moon Fair. I'm at the carousel. You can just come over here Tell for one gold. Travel. You can buy a ride ticket May book. Your days bring you joy. And then uh, activate that ride ticket book and it gives you five Dark Moon ride tickets. And so the quickest way to do this, right, is to come over here. Well, I don't want to show you guys just yet because I want to explain it. So you get a one hour experience boost that gives you an extra 10% experience, but it does not persist through death. So if you try to do this with dungeon grinding and you, you know, the tank pulls too much, the healer can't keep up, it's just that kind of time right now. Uh, you wipe, your Dark Moon Fair boost is gone. So this is why it, this is like 100% questing uh, boost grind, and I'm going to show you why. So if you have everything else right, once you gather everything else, you gather your elixirs, your droughts, you already have your wild boost, war mode is on, you are, now you're sitting at 36%, you'll, uh, the last 10% to make the 46, the 46 of the 50%, is going to be riding a ride in the Dark Moon Fair. But I, I'm eager to tell you guys if you guys want this, the best way to do it is to go to Chromie Time. All right, go to Chromie Time. Pick the Warlords of Draenor expansion. All right, Warlords of Draenor is the easiest and quickest one to level up 10 to 40. So once you hit level 10 or you make an allied race, start Chromie Time. Do that intro to Warlords of Draenor. Get your garrison. <coughs> Sorry. And get your garrison hearthstone all right guys so once you guys get that garrison hearthstone this is where it becomes a piece of cake so what you're gonna want to do is after you get your tickets get on the carousel you will notice you'll start getting this buff the longer you sit on the carousel it keeps going up and it's uh, the dark moon carousel yada 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 rep experience and reputation gains increased by 10% and it goes up to one hour so after you have, you know, after you've been on the long enough to hit that one hour, you're, you're gonna want to boom hit that Garrison Hearthstone. Requiem, I, bro, I'm not, I'm not joining a guild right now. Thank you, but no, thank you. All right. So we have War Mode on. Boom, ten percent, sixteen percent, thirty-six percent, and then when we get to our quest. Or whatever. Uh, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna activate that draw to ten lands, giving us forty-six percent. And then when you have heirlooms with a rested experience boost, um, your rested experience boost is consumed thirty percent less. So if it looks, if your experience bar looks blue like this, you have rested experience. So if you round everything up, guys, this is a fifty percent exp boost. And the reason why we choose Warlords of Draenor is for one. As soon as you get that uh, that Dark Moon Fair boost, you can garrison Hearthstone and immediately go into questing into Frostfire Ridge and immediately start using it. Um, I've completed most of Frostfire Ridge already. This is what I was doing yesterday that was boosting me so quickly. And also, I was doing all of the bonus objectives over here in Gorgron. And that's one more thing, guys. Warlords of Draenor, you can only boost from level 10 to 40. From... Um, from 40 to 50, you're going to want to go do BFA content because that's the fastest. But outside of that, um, once you get to this point, all right, you want to save all of your bonus, object bonus objectives from level 35 to 40, all right? So from 35 to 40, that's when you want to start cashing in all your bonus objectives. I don't want to go that way because it's going to dismount me and probably kill me. But because we're Zandalari, we have the Teradax swoop, so we basically have a racial glider. Um, but for the most part, guys, that's it. I hope I made it as quick and as easy as possible. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. If you found this helpful, like the video. Um, I, um, if I didn't go too in-depth, I tried to. Uh, like I said, leave a comment, and I can go into depth even more over that. I just don't want too long of a video. Um, so basically, you just need four things, guys. Wow Anniversary Experience, take advantage of it. Dark Moon Fair Experience, take advantage of it. War Mode, take advantage of it with Chromie Time. I promise you, I have not been ganked once in Chromie Time with War Mode on. Not once. All right. 
and then your your flask, your draw to ten lands for the ten percent, guys. All together, it gives you forty six percent. You round that up, it's basically you get fifty percent, right? Especially if you have rested XP, which um, with full heirlooms, thirty percent of that is consumed less. So basically, you have a fifty percent EXP boost for WoW's anniversary ends on the twenty second. So that you literally have when does Dark Moon Fair end? Dark Moon Fair. Okay, so Dark Moon Fair ends this Saturday. So if you guys want that full 46%, you have a whole week to level up your alt, guys. You have a whole week. And I'm telling you, this with all these exp XP boosts, it takes less than a day. And you're not paying for a boost, alright? There's no reason to pay for a boost. Just don't be lazy and get all the XP boosts and go quest in Warlords of Draenor. And just do what I told you guys to do. You know, get that garrison hearthstone, go to Dark Moon, get that XP boost, hearthstone back while you're on the carousel to keep your boost, and then you'll be good to go, guys. Like, I'm already level 38. I got two more levels before I'm getting kicked out of this zone and going to BFA. So, once again, guys, I hope this guy's helped. If you guys want to find yourself your way. <laughs> if, you, if this video helped and you guys want to find your way back for more content, I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. And click the bell next to it. Alright, guys. Um, Shadowlands drops on the 23rd. The WoW 16th anniversary ends on the 22nd. So, all in all, you will still have a 36% EXP increase boost after the Dark Moon Fair is gone. But that 10% helps. So, level up your alts. You know, do what I told you. Warlords of Draenor. Uh, bonus objectives from 35 to 40. And then from 40 to 50, take yourself to BFA and just do the quest while you still have all the XP boosts. And there's so many intro quests that they just stack back to back to back. You level up in no time. You won't even finish Zandalar before you reach level 50, I promise you. So once again, guys, thanks for stopping by. Happy Monday. Chill, guys. I love you.